and the very chosen, so that you may link now. I assume that you are ready. Oh, okay. Pfft. He just kind of like went into his other dialogue and just went ahead and ate me. Oh God! Help! Oh God! This is the fire link chamber. Oh yeah, now you have to, he tells you to place the Lord Vessel on the altar. That's really all he says. And there's the Lord Vessel. Now to let you access these uh, areas that you previously couldn't, although I never showed you any of these areas beforehand, so. That one, the second one, though, was the, I pointed it out earlier when we were in Orlando. <sighs> Rest of the Lord Vessel. Now we can offer the souls, level love, reinforce, blah, blah, blah. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct to achieve your fate. Fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant soul. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. You guys write that down. As you'll notice that there ready? were four then bosses, if you count the four kings Stay as still, one boss. Lord. It listed four, um, but that's not including, let's see, we got the Fire Sage, Centipede, and Ceaseless Discharge. Those are three more. Um, we still got to kill Sif. There's another one. The DLC four bosses, which I will do right before the end of the game. Um, there's still a lot to do, so don't be, don't be tricked by the fact that he only listed four. And the four kings aren't actually four so? kings. Like there, there can be more. Like a lot more. Like I, f I fought six before. Eight thousand. I don't know. I feel like Ornstein would give me more. Cause well. Let's let's go ahead and try Ornstein. Cause I'm not gonna use these ones for anything really. Let's use Ornstein. Yeah, it did give me more. But I feel like I the... Uh, no, well. I feel like it's going to give me more too. Let's see. I'm going to be wrong on this one, aren't I? 8,000. This one gives me slow motion. 12,000 too. See, I, I knew I was going to be... Something was going off. So I need a hero. I need a hero. Gotta love it. Okay, so we got 32,000 souls just from using those two. I'll keep the rest on me just in case. Um, now here's a... Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade my strength some more. Yeah, it's getting a lot harder to level up now. Um, what should we do next? Should we go ahead and... Yeah, let's do, let's do one more boss. Let's just do one more. Um, let's go to the end of Parish. We're going to fight Sif. Next. Because why the fuck not? Do we already fight the Moonlight Butterfly? I wonder. Maybe I should go check him out too. Ah, fuck. I'm going to spawn the, a stupid guy and get pissed off, aren't I? I don't care about that as much. I want that one, though. So that I can make it into the... Uh, so I need to get it to 10, so... I need to buy all the stuff to level that one up. 
neither of us want to see you go hollow. Hollow. So we have to, uh, before we can even access the DLC though, we have to go do fight Seath. Which, Seath I'll probably doing last or second to last. I still need to make a divine weapon so that I can get through. Almost one shot those guys. These Ents. You guys remember this part of the game? You know, that uh, 15 episodes ago? Could barely kill those guys with like 5 shots two handed and now I'm one shotting them with a rush attack. He was gonna grab me, that ass. That end. Did I pick up that item back there? Yeah. Oh, okay, let's find out if I, uh. I thought I already saw a person. Okay, good. I thought I was being invaded already. I was gonna look, what the fuck? Okay, let's see. Did I kill the moonlight butterfly? Let's find out the easy way walk down here real quick, see if I see a fog gate. And I do. So we never killed the Moonlight Butterfly. So I need to do that first. So we're going to get three, if you don't count that orange scene as well, we're two people. Three bosses in one video. They're not one video, but one little spree real quick. Oh my god. Thank you. Jeez. Honestly, didn't know if it was possible for that guy to die. Didn't. I was like, what the fuck? Need fleeing. Alright, so, this area is kind was kind of difficult if you did it early on. Because you could do this boss battle very on. I don't know why I didn't. I could have done it while I was grinding. Would have been a free, like, 25,000 souls, too. But these guys were very hard then. But now, obviously, they're not all that difficult. <laughs> If you're careful, you can see these guys before they uh, attack you. Because if I didn't kill him there, he would have spawned when I, pardon me, picked this up. He would have spawned then and tried to attack me. He cast a spell called Tranquil Walk of Peace. Basically, that makes it to where I can't move. <laughs> like, I'm over-encumbered. I can't dodge roll. Like, it's, it's pretty bad. Okay, now the important part about this is that we do this part. This was the important part. You see, if I didn't summon her then here in this boss battle then we can summon her for one of the final bosses later the four kings and the four kings in my opinion were probably the hardest boss to fight all game for me besides maybe new game plus seath because new game plus seath was like fucking ridiculous new game plus seath was just like one attack cursed you lose it was fucking stupid i hate it and if you count the bed of chaos as cheap ass kills This is probably one of my favorite boss battles. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the most iconic. It's because of the music. I mean, the boss itself is just beautiful. Ow. Those attacks hurt. Look, I mean, look how late in the game I was. I could have fought this thing when I was, like, level fucking 5. But I'm fighting it now, and it's still, like, you know, kind of difficult. Oop, I'm going to get the final hit. Yep, I got the final hit. <laughs> That's all I cared about. Now, the other important part about why I came down here was, I believe it's this ember. You see, this ember that I'm about to pick up, 
that's up here is very important simply because it's uh, divine. And the thing about divine is that divine is the only weapon that can kill. Is it? Yeah, it's divine ember and a homer bone. It's the only kind of weapon that can kill the constantly respawning skeletons in the catacombs. And the catacombs, if you didn't know, lead to Gravelord Nito, one of the final bosses. The reason that in one of my games I was never able to complete this game on New Game Plus was simply because I could not defeat the stupid skeletons in the boss battle room because they kept respawning and I never was able to accomplish defeating Nito. And I never beat the game on New Game Plus because of that. It was, it's one of my, like, a bane of my existence was that playthrough. Seeing that I never completed it is always one of those things where I look back and I'm like, damn. And I still can't do it. I still, like, that was, that was a while ago, too. Like, that was a few months ago. And I just got invaded. I could hear the sound effect. Is he gonna like attack me before I make it to the this guy? Nope, there he is. Hopefully, I can kill this guy first. All right, let's see. What is he using? It looks like he's got Hovel's helm, possibly like a grass crush shield. Let's uh, bow. All right, let's let's go. fuck are you doing? <laughs> are you kidding me? Is this is this really happening right now? Was Did I really get invaded by this numbskull? I will admit he had a lot of damage and a lot of defense. It looked like he was aiming for like almost a uh, oh and it was a decent level too Meloch. but he it looked like he was like aiming for like uh i can't remember what's called it's like a fat daddy skin or something like that people do this playthrough where they just get like the most amount of health and the most amount of fucking equip load and that kind of playthrough and they just have max like defense you wear like the giant armor and the mask of the father and tiny beings ring and you just wear all this ridiculous shit and basically your defense becomes god like it's ridiculous honestly i wonder how ridiculous my character looks i like him though he looks like a thug not like a thug thug but like you know i'm a thug also uh these characters are also some of the hardest to fight in the entire game these things have the meanest hook. Look, they're already splattered in blood by the time you get there. I'm this late in the game, and they can still hit me that hard. That hit for 200 damage, and as you could tell, it did shit for damage. Like, these are ridiculous guys right here. I don't know if I could, like, parry their fist or something, but if I could, these guys would be considerably easier are you kidding me? They have like 3,000 health each or something like that. Something close to it, at least. Let's see how much health this guy has. Oh, they dropped gold pine resin, too. Ow! Ugh. I can't close that screen. Okay. 500. 500. It's close to half their health. 500. So that's about 1,500 damage at this point. So that was about 2,300-ish health. Also, uh, Ember. Enchanted Ember. Which, uh, oddly enough, you can get that one before the uh, Magic Ember. And you have to have in Magic to get Enchanted. I always found that kind of funny. Because I would always get like, oh, the Enchanted Ember. Maybe when I do a Sorcerer build, they can do this. And then I eventually did, and I realized you have to do Magic before Enchanted. So, <laughs> kind of a funny little thing. So, we fought Orange Sea and Smoke, Moonlight Butterfly, and now it's time for probably the saddest boss in this game. The thing about this boss, which uh, may be in another playthrough of the game before, or, like, after I beat Dark Souls 2 when I get it, 
uh, I'll show you this. But uh, there, the thing about this boss is it's really sad because it has two different cutscenes. Yes, the cutscene you're about to see, and then there's another cutscene where the boss I'm about to fight is actually someone you can summon to uh, during the the Manus battle in the DLC. So I'm gonna go over here, and you're gonna watch this cutscene. But the other cutscene, he like recognizes you, and it's like, "I'm sorry, but we have to fight." No, oh, it's kind of neat. Here's this one. It's really impressive that he can howl with his mouth shut. Yeah, he is a ridiculous boss in the sense that uh, he is just ridiculous. I'm already down to. I've already used like two Estes and we just got into the battle. Stop backing up. I didn't really do a whole lot. Yeah, you can't dodge, like, you can't stop that attack. That did not deplete all my stamina, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure I still had some stamina left after that attack went off. It just knocks me down automatically. You gotta try to stay under him as he jumps out of the way. And that attack, yeah, it, I can't tell really if it if I still have any stamina left because it's just it's such a quick like succession of hits that. And as you've noticed, there's probably nothing really sad about this boss yet. You're probably thinking, what the hell was he talking about? Like, wh why is this boss battle so sad? I don't, I don't get it. What's the point of you telling us that it's sad? There's nothing sad about it. I mean, yeah, you told us about the other cutscene, but we didn't get to see it. So what's the point of telling us about it if that's not even part of what we had to experience? Oh my god, he's going to kill me right here. Nope, nope. Oh, oh god, that scared me. Oh, that scared me even more. Now, watch. Is there anything sad? Is there anything fucking sad? Is there? Do you see that? That is a limping puppy. You just did that. I just did that. And in that in count that... Let's put it out of its misery so I can actually talk. We did that together. That's sad. That is sad. I don't care who you are, what you are, what god you stand for. That is sad. Fuck you. Fuck me. <sighs> Anyways, guys, next time we'll be heading towards maybe the Four Kings. Um... And then we'll be working, seeing if I can grind up for a divine weapon. And then, uh, yeah. Working on that divine weapon. And then, uh, we'll be heading off to, uh, the asshole guy. What the fuck is his name? Nito, yeah. Once we have a divine weapon, we can take him on. But until that point is, which. I could make my bow divine. I don't know how that would work. I don't really want to do that. Um, but yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later.